My name is Marika Dutinsky. I'm a Gamilaroi Manandangi woman. My family come from Moree in northern New South Wales. I'm a project officer in the Indigenous Engagement Team at the State Library of New South Wales. At Learn Protocol 2, content and perspectives is specifically looking at uh, collections. It is especially looking at diversity amongst those two things and it is drawing attention to how important it, important it is to have diversity in both content and perspectives in relation to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander collection items within libraries. Libraries house often a really diverse array of collection items relating to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. The Collections are often really diverse in terms of content, in terms of format, and in terms of perspectives. The one thing in which they lack often is um, that the voice, the authorial voice, is not coming from an Aboriginal person. It's coming from the non-Aboriginal person who was writing about an Aboriginal person as the subject. And so the material was not written with an Aboriginal person or in collaboration. Um, and often the Aboriginal people who were written about didn't even know they were being written about. And so in order to redress this, libraries really need to be contemporarily collecting from communities. So they need to be looking at ways in which they can incorporate those voices into their collections. If your library is unsure of what to do in terms of contemporarily collecting. I would probably say to that that I think that means there is more work that needs to be done in terms of engaging with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and building relationships. Um, it is really hard to collect from communities in a way that accurately represents the documentary heritage of your state if you aren't engaged in what's going on right now um, in communities. Ongoing consultation with communities is really important in terms of the management of collections because it is a fundamental part of redressing the lack of Aboriginal voices and Aboriginal people have a right of reply to the collections that are held about them in libraries. And so in every instance, I would always recommend that no matter what the collection item is, if, if it contains um, stories about Aboriginal people or indeed cultural knowledge, that Aboriginal people should be made firstly aware that it is held in the library because a lot of um, people in communities don't actually know what is held within the, the vast collections of libraries, firstly. And secondly, ask them what are the, the appropriate cultural protocols that should be followed to ensure that this is looked after in a way that respects you and allows you to um, uphold your own cultural protocols. And where possible, Aboriginal people should be listened to and those um, changes should be incorporated in the way that the item is managed. The last thing I would say is that by incorporating uh, greater diversity of perspectives with regard to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander collection items, libraries are deeply enriching their collections, not only contextualising uh, the collections in terms of presenting multiple perspectives, but also deeply enriching our understanding of all the stories that relate to them. And that can only be a good thing, I think.